Well, it's better for you I just show you what's going on here. This is Companions in Veilgord. Vale You're going into the fade, aren't you? Well, wasn't expecting oh, wow. to fight an ogre today. I'm on the hive again. <laughs> this is Companions in Origin. I think that first wacky <laughs> whoa, 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 trailer is what this game actually is. And these faux dark trailers is probably them taking the few times they get dark. <laughs> And pretending it's the whole game so they can bait and switch us on launch day. I'll never come across Tasha's nudes by accident. Fuck, I got 12 hours till this flight. Listen. <laughs> oh man, so yeah, flick out nearly at every single sentiment that has been ha occurring and broadcasted, happening. And, anyways, in this, this shit show, this fucking clown show, this piece of dog shit that is Drag Queen Age Bellguard. Is, has been displayed since yesterday, since it actually released. And this is to be Morrigan into a uh, drag queen age. Look how they massacre my girl. So, you look. Shout out uh, events I all here. Shout out to all the serial deep trotter, Paul Tassi, gaming journalist performers defending drag queen age. Because it takes the queer boxes of the right side of history for modern audience. Boys is a squad says chill back bangler. Non binary, non binary, just like those from propaganda. Because, well, for context in all of this, all what people have been saying of it has all the pronouns, the fucking character design is just dog shit. They were going so far and beyond with Bogness. At this point, BioWare doesn't have a chance of sur at survival. Volta said, where were you right now? That shirt after lunch of Drag Queen Edge is probably going to produce the most annoying discourse. I have seen this one with even Spanish-speaking people. If especially Spaniards, that they are Sony ponies and they are indoctrinated as fuck with that shit. Oh, man. It's just... Glorious, they are uh, every single one of these idiots that pick at their own side, they are just dying in that hill and having a meltdown. It's probably not the most annoying discord of the year with those guys regarding a particular quest line. Team of interesting and endearing companions, of complex, memorable, likable, distinct personalities from a Ah, but the uh, joke keeps bright in itself. Thank you, Sayal, for this one. New policies. Every single body and mother audience should be person that show us gets blocked, no question asked. I'm exhausted. Good! I wonder how, how much of an audience it will left for you. Do, even this fucking gaming journalist gave 9 and 10s to this fucking piece of garbage that is just... Apart from wokeness, the game is broken, not even 30 FPS, not even 25 FPS. Graphics, outdated graphics, shitty design, over simplification of shit that uh, they do like fucking ask it with doing these action sequences. Filled with RPG mechanics that doesn't work at all. That's all I have seen with True Tact. The cringe dialogues. Every single one of these fucking idiots don't learn. They will never learn. Look, even here. This is the ultimate puzzle of for modern audiences, Drask Queen Edge Belgar. I'll go down in history alongside Yellow Pain. A blight. There's these dark spawn rising back from under the ground. You know, the, that's what I want to highlight here. 
all Teddy I heard but just a white male dude that actually know what he's doing uh, every single time they can't deny that then I saw Romanian be just laughing his ass off with this one why would women ever wish to be men? That makes no sense. And then, the establish transformer identity unlocks new dialogue options. <sighs> Every single time. Every single time. This is just the bright thing that ca they can come up with. The Ashkar said it is, it's going to die, but at least it's going to die. Walk again, dancing on the course of Dragon Age. <laughs> If we never get another Dragon Age, at least it's got to go out and hide not with Dragon Witch. Oh man, I, I really like it what Ro Raging Golden Eagle said here. It's legitimate funny to me that at this game Urinalis don't realize that they are killing their own host and will be left without a job soon enough. EA already paid the money to try to portray in very good hard life. Those fuckers even fail at doing so. They keep repeating the same shit talking points and you know how it always ends. Look here, they want to get the review to promote the, yeah, the Transformer surgery on a fantasy game. And they they'll tell you, if you don't like it, don't use your the fucking character creator. You know what? If you don't want to win to earn money, well, get comfortable with not me not paying you. Might well identify as non-binary of this crap. You you know what? Yeah, I, that's a good argument. I'm not going simply not not going to buy it. In fact, I'm going to encourage even more people to not buy that shit because well. They are just telling to everyone else that they did a shitty product and it shows. Uh, even from Bogness, this, this, this is a broken piece of garbage. And <laughs> look, the development cost of Drag Queen H. Belgar could be estimated between 80 million and 150 million. Yeah, this one in Katsula is perfect. <laughs> The George Floyd, seriously? And then Japan Kunari. Yeah. They did the non binary Japan with Catherine game with the director's cut called uh, Full Body. Catherine's Full Body Edition. And even I know it's fucking Pandarin. They know how to do better designed characters. Or even if the first one, that character, uh, the redhead from, from the diner. Uh, well, that's a spoiler at the end of the game, but still. And they, the fucking LDHGTV pedophile called on, on the West, they call out for censoring that character up because Atlas came in. So. Even from sharing this, Dragon Age, <coughs> Belgar, and Bioware punishes creator for honesty. This is why you can't trust early access playthroughs, because they were actually nitpicking who were putting a review, and I saw a woman that actually received an early review because you know what said, "Fuck it, I'm just going to shit on these fucking idiots." And oh boy, yeah, it was a woman. I don't know from what place, but I know she was talking in Spanish. Natalia is her name. Of course, she's never going to get access journalism ever again. But oh boy, it was fucking mwah, glorious scene. How she ripped all of that in the faces of these fucking idiots. specifically who I'm talking about here as a non-binary person myself they uh, it's always about themselves it, they, they think the world evolves about them every single time and of course more <laughs> more jokes that if we never get another Dark Queen Age, Dragon Age at least if we went out with a high note they know this dead the best bio where I play. Eurogamer says Drag 
Queen H. Belgar is the best Bioware game that you have played. Jesus Christ, this is just clickbait journalism. Yeah, they're doing rage bait. I saw a meme from the Boondocks that it was great. You know that this fucking N war is about to cr do this uh, N war moment and uh, to ruin someone's wife, person's life. And uh, you know what? They changed it to that, like, hey, this is just a. The gaming industry is a piece of guard. Wait a minute. I only pay for games that I enjoy. And then Octane okay, goes like screaming at the background. Hey, wait a minute! This is just a such perfect moment to engage in rage bait. They want these rage bait clicks so badly, they can't come out with anything else. Drag Queen, Dragon Age fans are not happy. So glad we got this sanction. We just had sacrificed a beautiful characters, good gameplay, meaningful dialogue, memorable characters, and tits. This game is an insult to the Dragon Age fanbase. It's even more insulting to the legacy of the first games. That might have fallen. Ah, fucking Ackman, go fuck yourself. You, you are just jumping on the fence again because, you know, it's the right time to shit on it. Go fuck yourself. Moving on. A space marine tool. A space marine tool. Uh, excuse me. To a space marine tool. It gives an 8 and 9, and Drag Queen H. Belgar, they give, him, they give it a 9 out of 10. The difference is one of the games of the year, and the other ones allows you to, <laughs> to strike your teeth. Sick and tired of supporting. All these paraphilias and just crossing, crossing off the lobby of gaming and all the gaming urinalisms. Do not buy it, and they can go fuck themselves. Then get the get the fuck out. I localize a little. Excuse me, I was just. <laughs> oh, man. So there you have it. That's all that you you need to know. This. This is a piece of garbage, and it's funny that even someone like she skill up, or should I say, shield up, since he that that fucking idiot is just again giving access journalism. He also is one with a side that is just trying to get attached to the legacy media when he's dying, and it's fucking hilarious. I know this piece of shit. Yeah. I, Go fuck this one too, but at least I'm going to show you this. Sh Sheila defended so many walk shit too, because it was played fine. Or even defend the fucking demaster of Sony PlayStation, Peace Station, or Peace Nichols nowadays, to get access journalism. And in this time, it's hilarious to me that he went straight and now. Uh, don't buy this shit. Of course he went with the disingenuous, neutral, both sides, talking points. But you know them well. Even when someone like him say, you know what, nah, I'm not going to support this. You know it's bad. But that's all I wanted to share here with you for now. That's for watching and please have a pretty good day and take care.